So uh, we just completed this elusive thief contract. Let's see what Dandelion has to say about that. Mm, let's see here. Um, wow, lot to lot to say here. The thief's trail took Geralt to Novigrad's extramural paupers district. The thought of venturing into that tough quarter makes me wince. Not so much because of the danger, I have braved much meaner places, but because of the smell, which can be so rank as to bring vomit to one's lips upon strolling within ten paces of it. Geralt, however, braved the worst and soon determined the imp was in fact a Doppler, one who changed his form more often than other men changed their knickers, although given the hygienic habits of men in this particular district, that was not saying much. The Doppler had no choice but to seek salvation in flight. It seemed Geralt was in for a foot race. Geralt has a soft heart. Though this does not always move him to mercy, this time it led him to spare the thieving Doppler, under the condition that the shapeshifter leave the city at once. After that was settled, Geralt talked to the merchant who had issued the contract and brought the matter of the Doppler thief to a close. Sort of. I say sort of because he only paid us half of what he owed us, the loser. That loser! Okay, so... This is still our next quest, where we're supposed to meet Zoltan after sundown. And uh, it's 4 o'clock now. I don't know what time the sun goes down here, but I do know it comes up at around 3 a.m. So we could just go ahead and start walking over to the Kingfisher. I don't know. I don't really want to start another quest now. For fear that it would take too long. Worst comes to worst, we'll come over here and... Um, We'll meditate. Actually, it actually says sundown, doesn't it? After sundown. Well, it's certainly not after sundown. Where are you going? Oops, that was weird. So I'm just taking a look around here. Um, well, do we have another quest we could just take care of real quick while we wait for sundown? Let's see. Um, that's this Oxenfurt. Oh, that's right. Um, it does say tomorrow, and it is tomorrow. Can we go here? How far away is this? Oh gosh, it's pretty far. Oh gosh, where is this place? What the hell? What? Go to the Var Atra residence tomorrow to give Rosa fencing lessons. Is it tomorrow, or is it the same day? I don't remember when that was when we did that. You know what? It might be the same day. Maybe that's not why it's telling me how to get there. Maybe maybe that was like early in the morning when that happened. I don't remember. Alright. Look at our other quests. Following the thread. Where's this? Way over here. I wonder how quickly I could get over there. I think we'll be alright. It's not that far away. It just looks far on the map. So we'll just rush over here real quick. Ooh, something's dead up here. You see that on my mini-map? Whoa. Oh, you son of a... Oh, you want to be like that, do you? Oh man, I wanted to get a backstab in. There, you're dead. I killed you. Alright. Where'd that loot go? Oh, it's right here next to him. Alright. There's more? Okay. Eternal fire walk with you. Aw, thank you. I'm looting all this stuff. I'm gonna get my inventory full again. Alright, let's get out of here. Back to our um, original destination. Hi. There are mouse droppings in this bread. There are mouse droppings in this bread. That's not good. I don't know about you guys, but I don't particularly care for mouse droppings in my bread. We got another... Another mer merchant here. What's up, dude? Well, 
welcome. What can I get the honourable gentleman? New poo lanes, perchance? I've not got a true pair, but they'll be the same size. What? Uh, let's see. Show me what you got. Fine. Show me what you got. So, what don't I got? Something for everyone, seek and you shall find. Cheap, too. What do you got? Um. Holy cow. Oh, okay, no, those are crap. He's got crap. A Melatelli figurine. Interesting. Um, we can sell him, like, this pipe and this candelabrum and this sheepskin just to get it off of our shoulders. So here's another guy who you could play Gwent with. Thanks. Come again. So we may as well get Choose that out of the way. Because I'm not going to remember this guy. So, here we go. Going to play him a game of Gwent. If you're not interested, click on the link to skip it. Ah, I see the honorable. Oh, whoops. Whatever. Let's play some Gwent. I don't know that I'm going to buy anything, but I sure wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent. Yeah, a few rounds of Gwent. Uh, wow. Yeah, we still have a long way to go before we fill out our monsters. Elf Guardian Empire. Still not as strong as Northern Realms, so we're going to stick with that. Let's start the game. We got a spy here. We got this guy. He has nobody to bond with. Now, these two guys are cool. They can bond with each other. Uh, I'm going to trade this guy in. Although, I'll probably get the same damn card in return. That always happens. Oh, another spy. I don't know if I need two spies, to tell you the truth. But, um... Yeah, why not? Let's try this. I kind of like to have... I wish I had one of the horn cards, you know? The commander's horn to double the row. I have no special cards at all. I'd kind of like to have one. Let's see, I've got one, two, three... Wow, four five middle people. I'm going to trade her in. I don't need this many middle people. Oh. Of all the cards, this is the worst card to get. I do not need this card. This is a wasted card right here. Because this guy already has this ability. Oh well. You take your chances. So... Let's see. What do I want to do? His ability is... Oh, he has the same same ability as me. Fog. Crap, man. That's not good. Once I start putting these guys in the middle, he's going to play that fog card. Um, well, if he does, he does. Okay, so he's going all front line on us. Let's see if he does fog. He passed? Well, that's kind of strange. Why the hell did he pass? Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and play these two spy cards just to get these extra cards. Right? I mean, why not? Have more cards for the next few rounds. It doesn't matter whether we give him points now. Although I have to make sure I don't give him too many points. Okay. Okay. I just said okay. I just got the commander's horn in the clear skies. Those are good to see. And we'll go ahead and play this. Okay, get two more cards. All right. Okay. And there you have it. That was a very strange strategy on his part, I must say. I don't even sure I'd call it a strategy, but hey. Okay. So it is our turn. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Got three of those. We got one, two, three of these. Um, let us kind of do... Go up to the front here, kind of a mid-range card. Okay, he's going back there, that's fine. We'll do the same thing. We'll throw this card here in the back. Okay. Goes in the middle. Um, a little worried if I play this, he'll just scorch it. So... Instead, we'll throw out... If I throw this out, what would I draw from here? I don't think I really have anything good in here. 
Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw this on the front line. Let's see what happens. Okay, he's going to the middle again. See, that makes me not want to go in the middle because I can use my fog ability to negate those guys. However, um, yeah, let's go ahead and throw him out here. So I get to throw one of these out, doesn't really matter. Just throw this one out there. No big deal. Okay, he's gonna throw rain out. That negates my back row. It's not hurting me yet, we're still ahead of him. Um, mm, he's only got four cards left. I'm wondering if I should do the fog now to negate these. Nah, I don't wanna do that. I, do, I, I want to do clear skies to clear this up. Or maybe I should just go ahead and play my cards and not worry about it. Maybe I should just do that. Because if I can just outplay him, if I just play all my cards, he's going to have to play all his. And then he's screwed anyway, so let's just try this. Yeah, that's really a crappy card right there. We'll throw her out. Oh, another crap card. And we'll throw him out. Let's, yeah, I'm, I'm... I don't see how this guy could possibly beat me. So he's gonna throw his fog card out now. And that's fine. Because I'll just... It doesn't matter, I still have way more than him. So he still has two cards left. That kind of was a stall tactic in a way. You know? He could throw this out, he still has two cards left to play. Uh, I could throw my clear skies out, but on what I'm kind of thinking why bother you know what I'm gonna do this I'm just gonna do the same thing. Oh, actually I can't can I no, oh, that's pretty cool It won't let me because there's already fog out. I was gonna do it just to kind of stall Can I throw this out. I Can okay Okay, there I just stalled. Oh, no, I didn't either. I still used a card. Okay, whatever. Ah crap Now he has as many cards as me uh-oh. Uh-oh. He has three cards, I have three cards. I need to, um... I mean, should I even bother to throw this out there? If I throw this out, I'm only getting at one point. Then I could throw this out later. Yeah, screw it. Let's throw this out. Let's see what he does with his three remaining cards. Ooh, a Binding Frost card. See, good thing I didn't play Clear Skies yet, right? I'm still ahead of him, though. So right now it is rainy, foggy, and icy all at the same time. Uh, he has two cards, I have two cards. Do I want to go ahead and throw this out now? And if I do, what row do I throw it in? I think I'm going to throw it in this row, I think. Could throw it here, but I think this will gain me a little bit more. Okay, Let's see what he does. Ooh, he had a five. But that's only one point for him. Oh man. Uh, this is the only card I have left now, and I kind of. I actually kind of hate to play it. But. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play it. That, th th this should, it should really help me more than it helps him. <laughs> 70 points. <laughs> and what did he do? What's he got? And what's, he, what's his last card? A clear skies card. All right. I win the round. And I beat him in two rounds. <laughs> 70 to 24. That guy was a pushover. Let's see what card we get from him. Villain Trettenmirth. Hmm. Whoa, that's a cool card. Wait a minute. This is a scorch. What? This does scorch and it's worth seven points? Scorch, close combat. Destroy your enemy's strongest close combat units if the combined strength of all his or her close combat units is 10 or more. Wow, that is one specific card. Huh. <laughs> Villain Trettenmirth also calls himself Bork Three Jackdaws. 
He's not the best at names. <laughs> what a strange card. Huh. And this is a neutral card. Wow. I'm kind of kind of intrigued by this. Yeah, I'll we'll go ahead and throw that in there. Throw it in the mix, why not? But I mean, I could also throw it in my... I could throw it in all of them, right? I could throw it in um, Scoyatel. I could throw it in Monsters. And I could throw it in uh, Nelf Guardian Empire. Interesting. I don't know why I have these. Oh, I have these here because they're... I don't know, they're only plus ones. Mm. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, okay, so these have some value. Alright. Okay. It's always nice to win another game of Gwent. Good lord, there's another merchant over here. Hopefully he's not another one who I could play... Um, Gwent with. I can't be playing Gwent all day long. I mean, I could. I'd be happy to. It's a fun game. I enjoy playing it, but, um... I don't think you've tuned in to this broadcast to watch me play Gwent. Okay. Let's get back on our trail here. But, uh... What is it, great boy? Looking for adventure? What? These guys are sometimes hostile. So is this merchant inside of this building? Uh, there we go. Yep, sure enough. Lone Shark. I guess I gotta get closer to him. What's up with this guy? Greetings. What have you got to pull? And how much do you need? What makes you think I need a loan? Taint a man that don't from time to time. <laughs> and He's you a don't taint. look nor smell flush with coin. Just so happens I'm doing fine at the moment. Then maybe you'd like a look at what the less fortunate have forfeited. Maybe I would. Oh gosh, he plays cards too. Alright, I'm gonna have to write myself a note here. P uh, play Lone Shark. I don't know where the hell I am though. You come across as quite the experienced Lone Shark. Been a Lone Shark long? Aye, since I was just a little tyke. So you helped your dad, took it over when he died. Nah, my own father left me here in pawn and never did redeem me. <laughs> okay. Well, what do you got? Show me what you have in stock. He has one book and it's a quest book, apparently. Change your life, a handbook. Alright, I'll bite. I'll bite. That's the only thing he had. So long. And for whatever reason, it shows up as a quest item, so... Check it out. Change your life. And so I, Jacob the Rebel, once well known as a libertine and brawler extraordinaire from Nazaire with its myriad taverns to the wilds of Zeracania, used what strength I had left to pull my craft ashore. The raft I had strapped together out of an old boot, bits of scrap, a strap, and a burst barrel had taken on so much water that two L's more and I'd have sunk to the bottom. Instead, I stood on dry land, and that was all that mattered. With not a living soul in sight, and my stomach growling something mighty, I began to explore. The isle was bereft of game, but offered fruit in great abundance. I ate so heartily the juice nearly poured out of my ears, and then I began to gather wood with which to build my shelter for the night and fuel the fire that would warm me. It was then I came upon the strange plant that would change my life till the end of my days. Ignorant of its value at this time, I frivolously used it for kindling. Yet, as soon as it began to smolder and its sweet scent filled my nostrils, I felt light and the coastal breeze whisked all my troubles away. I devoted the subsequent years of my life to researching this miraculous weed and its properties. As a result, I was able to develop a method that is likely to transform the life of any who puts it into practice. Here is how to begin. What? Where's the rest of the book? Okay. Well, um, let's see, where are we? We are in... Oh gosh, I don't even... Well, this is... No, where are we? We're up here. Ah, Lone Shark. Like, I'm going to remember where this guy is. Lone Shark... 
Um, man, I wish there was a marker near here so I could say, play Lone Shark near this marker. I'm just going to say in East Novigrad. Let's say that. There. Now maybe, hopefully I'll remember to play him a game of Gwent sometime. We may have a quest that brings us back over here as well. Oh! 